As a long-time tea enthusiast, I've always found the world of Dankong tea to be fascinating and full of rich flavors. With a history steeped in the high mountains of southern China, each cup of Dankong tea brings a unique story and a delightful sensory experience. What is Dankong tea? Dankong tea is not just any tea, but a specific type of oolong tea renowned for its wide array of fragrant aromas and nuanced flavors. Dankong tea, originating from Phoenix Mountain in China's Guangdong province, mimics the flavors and scents of fruits and flowers, earning its name, single bush, or single trunk. Dankong tea provides a unique experience with its diverse sub-varieties, each named after the specific fragrances they capture, such as, Mi Lan Shi Ang, for honey orchid and, Ya Shi Shi Ang, for duck excrement aroma. To truly savor Dankong, it's essential to grasp the essence of oolong tea, the broader category it belongs to. Oolong tea, a traditional Chinese tea crafted through a distinct process involving sun withering, oxidation, and meticulous curling, has its origins in China's Fujian province. This process helps create a complex, layered tea that can be light and floral, dark and rich, or anywhere between, making it an incredibly versatile tea category. Known for its wide spectrum of flavors, potential health benefits, and deep-rooted history in Chinese tea culture, oolong tea holds a special place in the world of tea. And within this realm, Dankong, with its unique ability to mimic natural fragrances, stands out as a distinctive and sophisticated member. As we delve deeper into Dankong tea, you'll see why this tea is such a treasure among tea connoisseurs worldwide. Now that we know what Dankong tea is, let's take a step back and explore its rich history. Dan Kong Tea History Delving into the intriguing history of Dan Kong Tea takes us back to the time of the Southern Song Dynasty. According to the Chaozhou Fuji records, the birth of Feng Huang, Phoenix, tea, which we now know as Dan Kong Tea, can be traced back to the reign of the Song Emperor in 1278. While fleeing to the south, the emperor passed through Feng Huang Mountain, where he tasted the local fresh tea leaves. This tea, which provided a soothing relief to his thirst, made such an impression on him that he named it Song Tea, in honor of his dynasty. Fast forward to the Jiajing period of the Ming dynasty, around 1547, Chaozhou Fuji, makes the earliest mention of tea production requiring tribute. This suggests that Chaozhou tea, the predecessor of Dankong, had earned the prestige of being a court tribute over 400 years ago. But it's worth noting that the tea would have been green tea during this period. As we progress in history, Guo Zhizhang's Chaojing Miscellaneous Notes from 1582 record the advent of yellow tea. Fast forward again to 1943, the Guangdong Tongji Draft describes the method of yellow tea production, frying the tea after making green. This signifies the beginning of the production process we now associate with oolong tea. From this, we can infer that the birth of oolong tea, the delightful category Dankong tea falls under, happened between the late Ming and early Qing dynasties. This historical journey of tea transformation truly adds to the mystique and allure of Dankong tea. What makes Dankong oolong so special? In the vast realm of oolong tea, four main types rule the roost, the aromatic Tai Guanyin from southern Fujian province, the robust Wuyi rock oolongs from northern Fujian, the diverse array of Taiwanese oolongs, and last but not least, our beloved Dankong hailing from Guangdong province. You might ask, what sets Dankong apart from its oolong cousins? And I would say, ah, it's the exceptional variety of aromas. Indeed, what makes Dankong truly special is its abundance of aroma sub-varieties. Believe it or not, there are at least 10 distinct aroma sub-varieties within Dankong tea, each boasting its unique taste and flavor profile. These delightful sub-varieties broadly fall into one of three main categories, the enticing fruity, the delicate floral, and the earthy herbal aromas. I've tried and can recommend the honey orchid, gardenia, or dewuye, and almond fragrance sub-varieties. However, the journey doesn't end there. Other tantalizing sub-varieties like ginger flower, iris flower, jasmine, and many more await your discovery. The world of Dankong is as vast and varied as fragrant and flavorful. Beyond its distinct aroma and flavor, let's explore how Dankong tea can contribute to your health and wellness. Dankong tea benefits for health and WLLness. In addition to the rich flavors and aromas that make Dankong tea a treat for the senses, numerous health benefits are associated with it, making it a treat for the body. Rich in antioxidants known as polyphenols, which help fight free radicals, Dankong tea is considered to have potential health benefits. 
Drinking dankong tea may aid digestion, enhance metabolism, and even provide a sense of relaxation and mental clarity. It's no wonder that in traditional Chinese medicine, define oolong teas like dankong have been used to promote wellness and longevity for centuries. However, it's important to note that while the potential health benefits of tea are promising, they can vary from person to person and should not replace any prescribed treatments or medications. What are the dankong tea side effects? While dankong tea offers a range of benefits and a fascinating aroma taste profile, it's crucial to acknowledge that, like most teas, it may also come with potential side effects. Primarily, these side effects are tied to its caffeine content. Even though the caffeine level in dankong tea is generally less than in coffee or black tea, it can still lead to restlessness, insomnia, or an upset stomach for some, particularly if consumed in excess. Pregnant and nursing women and individuals with specific medical conditions such as heart issues or stomach ulcers might need to limit their caffeinated beverages, including dankong tea. It's always best to consult a healthcare provider if you have concerns about the caffeine content and how it might affect you.